From here on in, it's gonna get serious. One week of Dancing with the Stars, and things are hotting up. Why is it blank in my mind? I'm stuck. Man, that seems so hard. The pressure's really on tonight, because one of our couples yeah, will be eliminated. Showtime, folks! <laughs> The only question is, who will be performing their last dance? From Avalon Studios, this is Dancing with the Stars. Please welcome your host, Jason Gunn. Thank you very much. Hi there. Welcome to week two of Dancing with the Stars on what is a very special day. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mum. And of course, to all of you beautiful, wonderful, patient, multitasking mothers, can I just say, I hope you're being treated like royalty because you absolutely deserve it. You do everything you Yes. Now, well, it's true, you do. And we have had, can I say thank you, an overwhelming response to our very first show. Thank you so much. It seems everyone's talking about dancing. Norm Hewitt and his wonderful waltzing. You remember? Teresa Healy, our mum on the move. And as for Shane Cortese, what were the judges thinking? Hey? Well, the, yeah, hey. Controversy. They're all back. Our eight celebrities and their eight dancing partners. And they've been putting in some serious training, queuing up their quick steps and getting ready to rumble as they prepare to dance for your votes at home. But not just your votes. They also have to win over our judges. And here they are. Brendan Cole, Donna Dawson, Alison Leonard and Paul Mercurio. <laughs> Paul, you have been, you're a huge hit here already. I mean, listen, you're a huge hit here already. Seriously, you oh, are. Yeah. And you were great last week. Uh, big question, though, you're on the spot. You've judged on our show and yeah. the show in Australia. Who make better dancers, Aussies or Kiwis? Oh, Go on. Kiwis, of course. Yeah! yeah. That's uh, it. You're not showing this in Australia, are you? Uh, you're uh, not showing this no, in Australia? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Thank you very much, Paul Mercurio, and our panel, panel of expert judges, folks. Keep that applause going for Mr. Carl Doy and the Dancing with the Stars band, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes, thank you, Carl. Now, as I mentioned several times last week, <laughs> I'm not a dancer. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, thankfully, my lovely and talented co-host is so much the dancer, the lovely Candy Lane. Happy Mother's Day. I organise myself. Yeah, happy, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. And your mother, should we watch it? Oh, Mum. Happy Mother's Day, Mary Lane. Oh, look, you must be proud, Mother. You look gorgeous. And last week, we had some serious fun, didn't we? Oh, look, everyone has just been so great about the show. They're loving it. They are. Kind, kind. Thank you. But I have to say, and I'll get it out, I have heard there's a lot of pressure on the males around the country. Oh, said it? yes. Said it? I think, look, I can just imagine all the girlfriends and the wives out there, you know, nudging their partners. Oh, sorry, Jessica. No, go again, please. <laughs> nudging their partners and just saying, look, that Norm Hewitt, if he can do that, so can you. Yeah, that's good on you, Norm. You've got a lot to answer for, mate. Yeah. It's true, though. It's true. 
And now a reminder too, and this is very important, that our vote lines are still open till the end of the show. If you missed the phone numbers last week, you'll have another opportunity to write them down and call us during the show. That's right. And each week, our couples will either dance a ballroom or a Latin number. And this week, it's the rumba or the quick step. In the quick step, keep your eyes peeled for spring and spin. Our couples need to look as if they're dancing elegantly across hot coals. The quick step is light and cheerful, crammed with hops and turns. And although it might look graceful, it's physically demanding. Next up, the raunchy rumba, the only slow dance in the Latin. The dance of love. Look for body shape, plenty of hip action and tons of twirls. Facial expressions are not compulsory. Yes, so we've got the quick step and, and the rumba. Are these, are these difficult dances? Oh, yes, Jason. Like, the rumba is the slowest of the Latin American dances, mm. which means it takes a lot of control. Control. You know, whereas the quick step, it's the quickest of the ballroom dances, and that's where the stamina comes in. Okay. Mm. Now, listen, have you, have you got a, a favourite out of the two? I have. What is it? It is the rumba. Oh, the, and why the rumba, please, please? Because the rumba is the dance of love. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet our celebrity couples. <laughs> Couple number one, actor Shane Cortese and his partner, Vera De Vista. Couple number two, Bernice Mene and her partner, D'Artagnan Kennedy. Couple number three, Nikki Watson and her partner, Kyle Debusen. Couple number four, Georgina Byer and her partner, Michael Hoggard. Couple number five, comedian Ewan Gilmore and his partner, Lauren DeVoe. Couple number six, Lord Hewitt and his partner, Carol Ann Hickler. Couple number seven, actor Teresa Healy and her partner, Peter Wales. And couple number eight, Linda Cargill's own mayor, Tim Shadwell and his partner, Rebecca Nicholson. Alrighty then, good luck to all of you. Let us get on with the show. Our first celebrity, Shane Cortese. Guys, let me tell you about Shane Cortese. He is the whole package, all right? You know, those smouldering eyes, that great body, all the moves. <laughs> the ladies love him. But you know what the most annoying thing is about Shane Cortese? He's a heck of a nice guy. It's true. But the judges, there it is. But the judges were pretty tough on him and Nerida last week. So... They've been pretty tough on themselves. Shane and Nerida seem to burn up the dance floor with their rendition of the cha-cha, though they failed to impress the judges. Brendan Cole. Five. Donna Dawson. Five. Now, Shane, I'm feeling a bit let down by you, darling. But she hasn't seen me dance before. So how could she have a preconceived idea of what to expect? So, is there anything constructive Shane can take out of Alison's comments? The thing you do with, uh, with criticism, and I'm an actor, and I've had plenty of it, is you turn it into a positive. And so we're, uh, we're here the day after, um, an hour before the rehearsal was due to start to, to throw in an extra hour. I can't, Charleston! Yes, you can! I don't want to hear, no, I don't want to hear I can't this week, okay? Every song we do, we, we try and act out some form of story, and, and we'll stick with those tactics. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> I'm slipping all over the place. That was better. For Shane and Nerida, the deadline for this week's quick step has caused some headaches. You said, you do. You said put my arm like that. I've got my, my arm can't get any less like that. We have the time to bloody muck around and relax. Okay. He likes to think he's in trouble, but he's not. Okay, ready? I'm not in charge, but I'm not. <laughs> you know, I'm enjoying this competition, and I want to take it seriously. Dancing the quick step, will Shane Cortese and your partner Nerida Lister please take to the floor?
I tell you, well done, well done. The, the, how's the breathing? All right, breathe with me. That is the sound. That is the sound of the quick step, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just breathe. There are no questions. Some are coming soon. We'll go to the judges first. Brendan, mate, what did you think? Well, pretty good job, man. Uh, first of all, Nerida, fantastic choreography. Really good job on on teaching Shane to dance because that was a was a great rendition of a of a quick step. One thing I will say, just try and get a bit more distance between your shoulders and your neck and your head, so you've got a better neck climb when you're standing. But a fantastic job, both of you. I'm great, great first ever. Fantastic. Thank you. Right. Right. That's what we like to hear. Donna. Shane, I, I thought that was an excellent comeback from last week. I know you would have been disappointed. And when you've come back tonight, come out fighting, that's excellent. I really liked your scattered chassis, your chugs were good, the flight was good. It was just so much better than last week, and I really like your outfits as well. Well done. <laughs> All righty. Alison. You last week because it's put a rocket just where it was needed. That was fantastic. I really like the choreography. I really like the choreography. And there was no hip action, which was perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Alison. Hips, they come on, they go, but it's just good. Paul. Awesome. That was, um, what, look, that was great. It reminded me of Gene Kelly, you know, in some of the movies I've seen him do, really, getting out there and doing it. Um, you were leading Nerida beautifully as a partner, and that's something that takes a fair amount of time to, to get, and you were really doing it with, with confidence. And you were having fun, and I was really enjoying watching you both, so really awesome. Well done. Oh, that's Thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well, it's hard to believe, but this, this man here, Shane, you're actually, be honest, you're a bit of a worrier beforehand, aren't you? <laughs> hey? Yeah, I have to read about things I can't control, like... The generator going down, <laughs> the no. band playing Tim's music, and it's supposed to be mine. No, listen, don't go, you, believe me, from where I'm standing, you've got nothing to worry about, buddy. Has he? Folks, come on. Shane Cook, he's in there. Well done, mate. You've got backstage. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a start. What a start. After the break, we'll get the judges' scores for Shane and Nerida, plus Georgina Byer, Nikki Watson, and up next, Bernice Minnie takes on the dance of love.